What's up gamers, Vertical Video Lover 500 here with my top 10 jailbreak tweaks. Just like I'm 10 years old again, I used to make these all the time. Uh, not so much anymore, but you know, with the success of my iOS 13 jailbreaking video, I thought I'd give the people a bit of what they want. I am on iOS 12.4, so these aren't fully compatible with iOS 13, but Eventually, most of these will be updated, if not all of them. They're all very popular tweaks, so I would not be surprised if every single one of them makes it onto iOS 13 sometime soon, if not them working already. The tweaks in this video are going to be broken into sections. The first one is going to be for user interface, second for ad blocking, and the third for just useful tweaks. First off, we're going to start with user interface stuff, so let's go. First off is Gridiculous. Gridiculous is uh, what allows me to rearrange my icons in whatever order I want. I'm not going to mess up my page too badly here. Uh, sometimes it does shuffle uh, your icons in not a perfect order if you're trying to move things around, but once you have it set, it's pretty good. And that is Gridiculous. Next we have my favorite volume HUD. Uh, this is Ultrasound. Ultrasound is... Just very sleek, minimal, uh, it has a nice little fade-out animation. It does have an option to show it on the OLED while it's locked, so you can check your volume slider visually if your phone is locked. I don't really like that a lot, so I just have it uh, turned off, but this is ultrasound. Next is Hide Bar X. Most of you probably know Hide Bar X. Uh, it just gets rid of the home bar at the bottom. Once you've learned the gestures of iOS, you probably don't need it anymore. It just gets in the way, so it removes it entirely. There are a couple apps that have uh, a bit of a space at the bottom, like Tube, for example, has still this section down here. Uh, maybe in the future somebody can figure out a way to shrink that down so that you get a bit more screen real estate, but uh, it is nice to just have it out of the way, and that is Hide Bar X. Next is Bro Do You Charge? Terrific name. What it does is it changes your charging battery or your battery indicator to a circle instead of a battery. Alternatively, there is Battery Percentage X that will just put your battery percentage up there. I like the circle, it's very minimal, and when you're charging it has a nice uh, green indicator as well. And that is Bro Do You Charge. Since we're up at the top of the screen, you may have noticed that it's all blacked out, and that is thanks to No Notch. No Notch just blacks out the sections of the screen that are close to the left and right corners. Still get the screen real estate for battery and uh, antennas and stuff, but it totally removes the notch visually. Uh, you can still see it just like any OLED uh, in direct light. You can, it comes out much better on the camera than it actually looks in real life. In real life, you can uh, almost never see the notch distinctly. So I do really like this tweak and that is no notch. Next is small Siri. You guys probably know of this one. Uh, changes Siri from a full screen UI to just a little box. You can change the position to the top or bottom. I like it on the top. I almost never use Siri, but if I am going to use it, I would rather have it not take up the whole screen, and that is small Siri. My icon pack that I have enabled right now through Snowboard is called Lotus, and that has a mix. Uh, I have both of these enabled. This is Lotus and Minimal iOS 12. Both of them are pretty sleek. I prefer icon packs that don't necessarily totally change the look of everything. Uh, these are instinctively non-stock and, in my opinion, more cohesive. But there are icon packs that, for example, just do an outline of the logo of the app. Those kinds of icon packs are very uncohesive if you have apps that are outside of its supported. Uh, for example, my banking app TD down here. Uh, and Trading View. They are both not themed. Neither is Bitwarden or Authenticator, uh, but they don't super stick out. This was one of those glass themes where everything was transparent or the icons are more cut out or cartoony. Apps that you need to use pretty often do get in the way, so I like to have a more minimal theme that matches uh, stock app design, so 
This is Lotus and minimal iOS 12. Next is my lock screen. Uh, this is a combination of a couple of tweaks. So one tap uh, opens on my always on display. You can set this to always on. I have it sleeping. Uh, one tap will show me the time, the weather, my battery percentage, and then two taps will uh, turn it onto regular mode. So this is the dark OLED part is called Lisa and it will display notifications. There's an example of what notifications look like with Lisa. Uh, they all go down normally and another tap and it shows it just like that. You do often have to use another tweak called lower to move your notifications down from their default position because they'll often overlap with the clock. For example, with my clock here, this is uh, using Zen HTML. This is called Android Leopard and I use lower to bring it down below the clock. Another addition, if you're going to be using Zen HTML and Lisa, I would recommend turning on uh, no old notification text, which just removes it from here. Otherwise, uh, there is some text in here that kind of overlaps. Okay, next up, we're going to talk about ad blocking. I really dislike ads in all of my social media apps, uh, so I will show you what I use for getting rid of all of them. First, we'll start with Instagram. Uh, there is a tweak called Rocket for Instagram, but although it does remove the stock ads, it adds its own ad in its place, which, if not morally reprehensible, definitely in a gray area. So I have no qualms with cracking that. So there is a tweak called Rocket for Insta Crack. You can find that on most of the crack repos. You guys know. Come on, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, here's an example of that. So I don't get any sponsored posts in my timeline. And also, uh, this one is the more important thing. If you're flipping through stories, there are also no sponsors in the stories. So that is with Rocket for Instagram and a tweak to null out the account ID. Next up, we have Twitter no ads. This one's simple. You just install Twitter no ads. Uh, and your timeline will not include any ads. Uh, it also removes sponsored trends, so you don't have to look at anything you don't want to, which is perfect. Next, we have a couple of flex packages. Wow, those colors are definitely wrong uh, in my camera. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix those a little bit. No, not possible. Okay, well, I have Twitch no ads and YouTube uh, with some Chinese but this nulls out YouTube advertisements and also allows for background play uh, all in one place, and Twitch no ads turns off ads. This status bar, no breadcrumbs, is useful if you're going to be using uh, no notch, because if you use Twitter through here, you'd get the breadcrumb, but this gets rid of breadcrumbs entirely. So uh, for Twitch, you're going to use Twitch no ads version 8.0 by uh, Jonas, Jonas. And then uh, EOQW312 is the uh, author of the tweak for YouTube that I'm using. Next, I just have two uh, apps that I find really useful. One is called Force in Picture. So Force in Picture just gives you, uh, for example, if I go to Twitch, make sure that my sound is down. If I go to a stream, it gives you the pop out that you'd get on an iPad. You can scale this. Uh, one thing that it doesn't do very well is uh, YouTube. There is an app called UPIP that is theoretically working for some people. I find that it will work for one video and then not work anymore. But Force in Picture allows you to do it in Twitch, and it also works for any video that's playing inside of Safari. So if you're going to watch YouTube on the Safari instead of the YouTube app, you can pop out videos there. Uh, or any other video that you may be watching in Safari, you can pop that out. Uh, finally, I have Safari Plus. Safari Plus is uh, essentially just a download manager. This is music, guys. This is music. Uh, it just adds a download manager, so here's an example of my downloads. But you can long press on things and download them. It makes downloading much easier. It does have an, a couple additional features like Force HTTPS if you're into that. Uh, I find that most of the other stuff gets in the way, though. I just use it for a download manager. And that's all of my tweaks. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you 
enjoyed, and uh, I'll catch you next time.